Hey guys, welcome back to Titancraft. Last time we worked on the giant teapot here, getting that into place. And off camera, I've been doing a little bit of work. So let's start with this thing here. There was some snow kind of accumulating in this area. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to incorporate it because it kind of looks like spilled milk. So here I've got a cup here. You can kind of see it a little bit better from here. Or from uh, here-ish. Yeah, there's the handle. And it kind of spills out on t down onto the side here. And I've been... Uh, Kind of working on incorporating that into the build. Kind of having just milk kind of spill everywhere. Next, uh, on stream, I I did some stuff for the Titancraft live stream weekend. We made uh, these little plates here with um, some some cookies and some like miscellaneous sponge cake frosting. Cupcake doos, cu cupcakey doos, and then over here is some um, pumpkin pie, cause uh, we just had Thanksgiving over the weekend, so I figured pumpkin pie would be a good, good snack to have, and then of course we have two teacups set up, and uh, I've got just kind of a little fog effect glass here to kind of give it a little bit of depth. And I did the same thing in the other, in this cup cup here. I did the same thing in this cup here as well. And I'm really happy with the handle and I'm happy with the cups. One thing to note is that uh the, the teacups and the little cake plates that I got here, they seem kind of small compared to the, the teapot, but that's okay. Uh, I can make like a bigger plate with some like extra snacks and things in there too. I'm going to put, put another place right here. Um, Maybe whoever was sitting here had this cup of milk. So maybe they'll just be a plate. And then there's the cup there. Also, let me know what you would like to see on the table. And while we're not going to work on this today, it is getting into the winter season. So let's start placing some snow in different places. We'll just kind of let these guys roam around and uh, and place some snow. Let's make you guys a little bit more friendly. Huh. Dude, you're killing my snowman. Stop it. Stop. Oh. No. Okay, guys. Make the snow. Snow army, assemble. Do your thing. Why? Why are you not... Why are you not placing any snow? Are beaches too warm for snow? Where are you going? Well, that was a total bust. It, the, are you kidding me? All my snowmen just immediately like jumped in the water and died. That's just great. Wonderful. So smart, guys. Oh, wonderful protectors. Best security on the planet. I guess I'll just do it myself, guys. I can place snow. I don't need your help. If I could jump in a lake and, and get out of doing work, I would have done that too. At least this gives me a bit of an opportunity to show you guys that um, the default snow color texture is very bright and white and pure but 
anybody who has lived in a snowy region could tell you that snow is not always that white and pure. Sometimes it's kind of dirty or kind of gritty as it starts to um, mix in with the other underlying terrain, like dirt and gravel and salt and whatever else that you would need or use. And it's definitely not always very smooth unless it's like the morning after a really big snowstorm. So having a little bit of extra texture in here is not necessarily a bad thing. And that's not something that the snowmen could do. So here's what it looks like. And honestly, I'm really happy with this, especially with like the sort of like rainy, rainy environment that's kind of going on right now. It definitely this whole area feels like December. It feels like how December looks outside. So this is the Christmas district. From what I've heard, it's supposed to be a uh, Polar Express inspired build. From what I know, the people who had originally started this started this super early in the season. A lot of the original people that started building this dropped out for, you know, real life reasons or whatever. And so now we're getting into December and there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. So Swirly Bird, who has been organizing the Titan Craft live stream weekends, uh, put a call out for a live stream day where uh, we all got together and we started placing snow. And this was the area that I was working on. This has been, this is the next day, so there's been a lot of stuff that's been happening off camera. Like, all of these mountains got finished. And then there's more snow that got placed over here, too. And speaking of Christmas, it looks like... The spawn area has been decked out for Christmas as well. And it looks like the Titan Craft Secret Santa has been put together. And I've already read the rules, but basically you get a you get a book from the chest here, and then you fill it out and sign it, and then you can 
drop it back in the chest. Is that how I'm understanding it? Write out your wish list and sign the book. It will disappear and you will automatically be entered in. Okay. And I've thought long and hard about what's going to go in my secret Santa wish list. Um, I've come up with a few options that I would like for a secret Santa gift. So it, I've been told that it could be anything. It could be a project. It could be a, a server tour. It could be blocks that you might need. And it's so close to the end of the season that it took me a long time to figure out what exactly I wanted to put in the, what I wanted to put in the wish list. Um, and I decided to add a few different options um, so that whoever got my book would would be able to choose whichever option sounded the most fun or the least stressful. And then I also have the have a happy holiday, whichever holiday you celebrate. So option one, I really need help with my nether tunnel, either a design or help building or both. I feel like I don't have time before the end of the season to make it look nice. So having some help would really make a difference. Next, I have I haven't really had an, a ton of time to explore the server much, so I'd like to see some cool locations or see, or do some cool stuff. And then on the same line is I haven't explored the sh the entertainment district at all, so show me some games and play some games together. The fourth option is that I would like some sort of statue or guest on the table, someone who is enjoying the meal or someone who's crying over the spilled milk. Uh, otherwise, if none of these options really work for whoever gets my book, uh, just a shulker box full of goodies is just fine. I really don't want it to be like a super big important thing to get me anything for Christmas. Whatever anybody has time for or whatever anybody thinks would be kind of fun would be really kind of nice. I think that should be good, so I guess I will sign it and uh, just sign it with my name and we'll be done. Alright, I have uh, ended my secret Santa and I believe the deadline is December 10. If I don't get a wish list right now, I probably should get one before the end of the week. Uh, let's grab some rockets while we're here. I've only been really grabbing rockets two at a time, even though I know it's five stacks a person. Because I bought like a shulker box of, of rockets early in the season, and I've just been, I just had so many rockets at the start of the season that I didn't know what to really do with them. And now we're getting into the end of the season. I really want to like use up the rockets that I have before getting into the, the next ones. Oh man, that looks super tasty. I want to eat this. This is awesome. Uh, all right, guys, so check it out. I've got a couple of new things going on here. Uh, I added in another teacup. Uh, I just, the scene felt weird without an extra teacup. So, I'm not really sure what the spilled milk is, but it's here, so I'm going to roll with it. And speaking of which, I used a completely different color palette for this cup than any of the other teacups that I had in the scene. So, I'm working on incorporating a few more items that utilize this same block palette. For one, I'm adding in some of the blue terracotta here on the top of this teapot. Uh, I'll remove the, the wool later. Uh, and then I've also been adding in some wool, especially to hide lighting and to spawn proof it. Next, in most of these, like, tea party scenes 
They either have like a bowl of fruit, which was my original plan, or one of these like tiered plates. You have a plate on the bottom and then one or two more plates on top of that. And those plates will have snacks and goodies that you can grab. And so I've been, so I've got the first layer down and I'll be adding in the second layer. And then of course these tiered plates, they need to have a handle. So here's the handle. And uh, I utilized a trick that I showed earlier in the season where if you put water in stairs like this, it creates an infinite water source. It creates an infinite water source like this. And when you step over it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't change your view or you don't have like any, um, any jagged edges, like if it was on slabs or something like that. And honestly, I really like the look of the water blue in these stairs like this. And from afar, it makes the plate look really fancy. I might add in some of the blue terracotta in on some of these plates here just to add some consistency but I'm constantly running out of blue terracotta so I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to be able to do. Uh, I'm constantly feeling like I'm running out of time with this project and uh, I'm having trouble playing because I've got a deadline to, f to finish here. So the less I think about the deadline, the easier it is for me to get it done. But that is going to have to wait until the next episode. So that is going to have to be it for today. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. And subscribe for more. Have a good one, everybody. Bye!